A new frontier of trailer electrification options has been announced. We have all the details on the new Ford Super Duty trucks with one feature that I can't believe has taken this long for a truck manufacturer to include. And one of the best new RVs that I have ever seen is about to become available. You won't believe the quality and features of this thing. I'm Jason Epperson, and it's time for the latest in RV and camping news. First up, let's look to the southeast and Hurricane Ian, where there's an incredible amount of destruction and a rising death toll. The impacts of this storm are historic, and the damage that has been done is historic, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said. We've never seen a flood event like this. We've never seen a storm surge of this magnitude. That's saying a lot for the state of Florida. State fairgrounds and private RV parks across the South have opened their doors for evacuees to find a place to shelter. The Atlanta Motor Speedway, for instance, has opened its camping facility for those fleeing. It can handle thousands of campers with hot showers and restrooms. It also has water, power, and sewer hookups. Along with the many people who have lost their homes, boats, RVs, and more importantly, lives, many campgrounds are surely destroyed. There are at least 50 campgrounds in the three hardest hit Florida counties, though the Florida RV Parks and Campground Association doesn't yet have statistics as many owners haven't been able to get in to assess the damage. Florida parks that are not in the affected areas want you to know that they are open for business. If you're looking to help out, consider a donation of money or blood to the American Red Cross, or if you can help with disaster relief in person, head over to volunteerflorida.org to find available options. And later down the road, you can be sure that Habitat for Humanity will be looking for free hands to swing a hammer. I'm coming to you from the grounds of the 50th annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta this week, where thousands of RVers are camping on site to catch hundreds of hot air balloons take off over the course of this weekend and Next Harvest Host is one of the main sponsors of the event this year. I've just returned, though, from Elkhart, Indiana, where the annual RV manufacturer open house has just concluded. I have lots of great things to share with you from there, including one RV that absolutely blew my mind. But first, the new 2023 Ford Super Duty has been announced. 2023 was supposed to be a big year for Ford's F-250 and up pickup trucks, but the continued ramifications of COVID, both supply chain issues and unprecedented demand, have put truck manufacturers in the enviable position of not needing to do much. Both Ram and Chevy are making very few changes to their heavy-duty lineup this model year. Of course, they're all still trying to fulfill a heck of a lot of customer orders. Ford, too, has scaled back plans for its toughest trucks, and the new 2023 units aren't going to look too different from previous years. That's fine with me, but there are some new features and refinements that are pretty interesting, and some that are going to be especially exciting for RV trailer owners. There are engine changes on both the gas and diesel front. The base model gas engine is an all-new 6.8-liter V8, which takes some cues from its big brother, the 7.3. There's no specifics yet, but there's supposed to be more low-end torque, which is great for towing. The 7.3 is still a beast, and it's getting a few tweaks with an improved air intake and new tuning. You can bet its horsepower and torque numbers will have improved for 23. Manufacturers always play the tuning game to eke out a few more digits for the folks that must have the best of the best. There's also a new high output option for the 6.7 liter Power Stroke V8 diesel with a new unique turbo, upgraded exhaust manifolds, and again, tuning. Every Super Duty will now feature the 10-speed automatic transmission, which I really love on our truck, and four-wheel drive is now standard on XLT models and above. One of the neatest features of the current generation of F-150s is the hybrid model that can essentially act like a generator, what Ford calls Pro Power on board. Unfortunately, there's no hybrid Super Duty option coming, something a lot of people were hoping for. But Pro Power will now be available for Super Duty, just not the awesome 7.2 kilowatt output that the F-150 has. Still, you'll be able to use a Super Duty just like a 2000 watt generator to power your RV. You do have to have the engine running in order to do so, so it's not something I do for long periods of time. But for folks that don't want to carry around a generator and just occasionally need some power, it should be a really great option. 
On the towing front, again, coming over from the F-150 is onboard scales and smart hitch. Essentially, the bed of your truck is a scale that estimates your payload, your cargo weight in real time on either the app, the display, or in the tail lamps. There's a new camera system available that wraps around the entire trailer, providing a drone-like view to make maneuvering into tight spaces easier, and a new blind spot system for fifth wheels and goosenecks that can be attached to the trailer. On the tailgate, you can now get a tailgate down camera. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. Essentially, there's a backup camera that lets you see when the tailgate is in the down position. There's also reverse sensors on the top of the tailgate. That way you can comfortably back up to your fifth wheel with the tailgate in the lowered position. If you're using a conventional trailer through the rear hitch, the Pro Trailer Hitch Assist will automatically back the truck up and align the hitch ball to the trailer receiver. And the navigation system has been updated with a feature that I cannot believe it's taken this long for a truck manufacturer to do. The Ford Factory navigation system will now take into consideration your trailer dimensions and weight to avoid potential issues with low bridges and tight turns. If it works well, that means no more cluttering up the dash with additional GPS systems. There's also a cool little security feature. If someone attempts to disconnect your trailer from the truck while the doors are locked, the truck will send an alert notification via the Ford Pass app. On the outside, you're not going to see much dramatically new. There are seven new grills and updated headlamps with LEDs now available on all trim levels. Side vents are larger and they're now functional, which Ford says reduces underhood air pressure for improved aerodynamics. In the cab, again, things are going to look a lot more like the F-150. XL trims get an 8-inch display, but every other trim gets the huge 12-inch display. The front seats can lay down flat. That's about it. Now, order banks have been closed on the Super Duty since March, and they aren't set to open back up until October 17th. Unfortunately, though, lots of dealers have been taking what I call unofficial orders, not even knowing what these trucks would look like. So on the 17th, they're going to drop a bunch of orders into the system. And of course, heavy duty truck availability on lots is still limited. So if you place an order, who knows when you'll get it. But we should see the first 23s rolling off the Kentucky lines in January. And Ford says that some features and trims will not be available until spring. I'd love to know your thoughts on the new 23 Super Duty. Leave them in the comments below. Next up is truly the best new RV I have seen released in a long time. But first, this episode is sponsored by the folks at RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Abby and I have been using the Dream Foam Series mattress well about nine months now, and we couldn't be happier. We're sleeping better, and we were able to customize it to fit the exact needs of our fifth wheel. RVmattress.com offers a 120-night sleep trial, the ability to pick different sizes and thicknesses depending on your personalized sleep needs, plus their products are toxin-free, made in the USA, and incredibly simple to set up. We were able to have ours delivered to the campground, and within hours of unboxing the mattress, it was fully expanded and ready for us to sleep on. RVmattress.com offers free shipping and is currently extending 20% off to the RV Miles community when you visit RVmattress.com slash RV Miles and use the promo code RV Miles. That's RVmattress.com slash RV Miles with promo code RV Miles for 20% off. Our thanks to RVmattress.com for supporting this channel and to you for supporting our sponsors. Now back to the news. Okay, let's turn to the RV industry where some cool new things were announced at last week's open house, the first they've been able to hold since COVID hit. The headline for me is a new overlanding trailer under the Palomino umbrella by Forest River. If you like Embers and Black Series and Nobos, this is those on steroids. It's called the Pause, and everyone I saw walk through it was just blown away by the quality, the ingenuity, and what's included with it. It starts with a custom aluminum chassis that's bolted and riveted together instead of welded, so you don't get weld cracks when you stress the frame. The underside of that frame has a full diamond plate to protect it. The wheels run on independent air ride suspension that you can adjust for a whopping 24 inches of ground clearance through the robust onboard compressor. They give you two spare tires and even an off-road jack. The walls and roof are constructed out of some sort of composite that I hope finds its way into more new RVs. They had a sledgehammer on site that you could whack a panel of it with and it barely left a mark. All the seams are sprayed with truck bed liner. There are light bars and cameras all over the thing. It has one of the best outdoor kitchens I've ever seen on any trailer of any size, and that's just the outside. 
Inside, it's got metal cabinets, tons of windows, and too many smart storage features to go into. I have a full walkthrough, though, out, which you can click on at the end of this video. But let me tell you, this is going to be an expensive trailer. There's not a lick of wood on it, and everything is custom and high-end. You're going to pay for that. You may remember that last year I did a video about how many RV manufacturers were removing ladders because some new industry requirements for the strength of the attachment points. Well, this fall, you're going to start seeing lots of RVs come with these expandable ladders from Lippert. I've had a ladder like this for six years and I love it. It's way better than climbing vertically on the back of an RV and you can move it around so you don't always have to get all the way on your roof. You can just reach over the top wherever you are around your RV. But what Lippert has done different here is added an attachment point so you can safely hook the expanding ladder to the back of your rig. That also means the ladder goes higher than the roof, which makes it safer to come back down. On the tech front, the coolest thing hands down that was literally just announced at Open House is a new electrical system for trailers made by an Australian company called Oz X Corp, and they're distributing it through one of America's biggest RV component suppliers. They've designed an absolutely incredible all-in-one solution that they're only willing to sell because at minimum, it will run an air conditioner all night off of a battery. That was the bar they set because they knew that the layperson doesn't really care about how it works, just that it does. But they were smart in making a system easy for manufacturers to implement. So even though it's costly, they'll save some of that on labor and warranty repair. They don't need highly trained electricians to put it in. The system is very simply a giant battery bank that rides between the chassis rails on a trailer, a lot like an electric car, delivering the equivalent of 1400 amp hours of battery capacity. Then there's one big box that includes the inverter, the charger, the solar controller, transfer switch, all of it, everything. There's a pair of cables that go between them and then a little control screen that can be mounted indoors and that's it a giant lithium power bank in a box. And you can run air conditioners, microwaves, induction plates, everything off of it. And it's been engineered for maximum efficiency. For instance, your solar power is used first by all your devices and what's left over charges your battery. In most systems, the solar charges the battery and then you draw that power off of that battery. That leads to a very large inefficiency in your solar use. There are dozens of smart solutions integrated into this system, but most importantly, they warranty it to be rock solid for years. They're even working on a generator that's oilless and maintenance free that can run on several different types of fuel by turning a turbine instead of driving pistons. I'm told we might see this system implemented in some new trailers as soon as January, and I'm really looking forward to it. That's it for this week's RV and camping news. Make sure to check us out on the RV Miles podcast and click the video over here somewhere to watch that full walkthrough of the pause. Even if you're not in the market for an overlanding trailer, you're going to love some of the ideas they've incorporated. We'll see you next time.